Hi, I'm Hayley. I'm the Chief Doodler at Thoughts Drawn Out, a creative consultancy powered by the art and science of illustrated storytelling and human-centered design. I'm obsessed with generating greater humanness in how organizations and individuals discover their stories, connect meaningfully with others, and make sense of the world around them. That's why I'm sharing my story here with you in all its perfectly imperfect glory. I am human after all. And just like you, I am juggling all the things, business, health, creativity, I'm basically trying to show up each day and be the best version of myself that I can be in business and in life. And I'm going to bring you along for the ride and hopefully inspire you to do the same. It's time to get amongst it, get creativity working and make your mark. Welcome to my diary of a chief doodler. It is Monday morning, 8.30. I am in the city, uh, just off the train, on my way to the first of three half-day workshops of the week. Uh, Just uh, having a coffee and getting in the mental zone. So, off we go, workshop number one. Good morning. So it is a uh, Tuesday morning. Um, I am, I've just parked at the train station because I'm heading back into the city two days in a row. Whew. Gonna be brain tired again today. Um, so I had a half day workshop yesterday um, and then another half day workshop today. And I don't mind the half day workshop. I mean, because of where I live and the commute, it almost kills an entire day. But I will be home in time to pick Hugo up from school and do afternoon things with him. So that makes me happy. Um, Speaking of which, that was one of the three things I put in my five minute journal this morning, which I'm really excited about. It's, uh, I've been reading about it. I've been watching some videos about it. And I thought I have to have a go at this. Um, so I ordered one and it arrived yesterday. So this morning was the first time I sat down and, uh, completed the morning component of the five minute journal. Uh, and yeah, one of the things I am grateful for today is the fact that I, even though I have to go to the city and do this workshop, I will still get that, that Hugo time this afternoon, uh, because that really does, uh, that, that's, that's what's good for my soul, uh doing the work, but also getting to be there for my family uh, and achieving that that perfect, I hate to say balance, it's more of an integration, I think, but yeah, that's the stuff that's important. So back in today for co-facilitation, so I'm not scribing these workshops. These are, um, these are co-design workshops. So we are playing back what we have learned through our research phase uh, and using the, the, the co-design um, of the group to help translate what we've learned into what our end outputs will be. Uh, so second one of those today. Um, so from here, I have another half day workshop tomorrow, same project, but different format. Yeah. And that's, yeah. So they're, they're my three workshops for this week. Um, other than that, it will be desk time, which is 
good because I, I can't do the uh, I can't do the daily commute. Um, I know that it just it's it's too much, it's too hard, and I don't have enough time to do the other things that I need to be the best version of myself. For example, I, I didn't run yesterday. I haven't run today, um, and there's a good chance I, I may not have time to do that this afternoon either and I try to get in four runs a week so that may mean doing three back to back uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday we'll we'll see how that goes I'll just have to play it by ear I have to be flexible with my schedule and this kind of thing but I need to preserve the time to do uh, the things that are most important um, and that I need for my you know my full well-being it's how I show up as my best version of myself I can't produce great work for clients if I'm not showing up as my best version of myself, which means I need to have days where I don't travel. I need plenty of time to get out in nature and, uh, you know, soak in a sunrise or a sunset or, you know, wander around the garden, take the dog for a walk, go for a run. I have to have those things. They are just, they, they're like air. I need them like I need air. So... Anyway, that is where we are up to right now. Um, so I'm going to go uh, grab my bag, jump on the train. Um, I'm probably going to do just my normal journal on the train because um, I didn't get to do that before I left home this morning. Um, and yeah, I will check in again soon. Okay, so today is my first day uh, writing in the five minute journal. So I did my morning entries and I've just done my night entries as I am in bed. Uh, it's the end of Tuesday. Um, pretty good day in the end. I got to my workshop, got home, did some extra work. Got a couple of walks in, dinner with fam, and now I am quite tuckered and I'm going to read my book and go to sleep. Hey, hey, it is Wednesday morning, uh, not in the city today, workshop today is online, which is great. So I, I, I ordinarily would have gotten up and gone for a run this morning, but I listened to my body. It told me I needed to just sleep without setting an alarm and get up when I woke up and get up slowly and just have a peaceful start to the day. So that is what I did. I got up, I, I made porridge for breakfast, which I usually do, um, did my five-minute journal because I'm trying to embed that new habit. Um, I was able to cook Hugo breakfast. I've just dropped him off at school. So now I've just pulled up at the uh, local uh, coffee joint, which is actually the, the pub that has a coffee window um, up the road because I'm going to shout myself a nice coffee this morning. Um, mainly because I'm out of oat milk at home. <laughs> so buying a coffee, uh, then I will mosey on home and get set up for, it's just a two hour workshop this morning as well. I thought it was longer, but it's actually just two hours. Uh, so I'll, yeah, get in, get that done. 
then I'm going to spend a bit more time at my desk this Arvo. I just need to catch up on some stuff. So I've, I've made some visuals uh, recently that I need to break down into components so I can give the clients, the, like they've signed off the, the whole picture um, and I need to break down and give them all of the little pieces so they can use them as icons and so forth. Um, a few other bits and pieces like that. Wednesday afternoon, talking to you from the car once again. I uh, have just taken Hugo into his guitar lesson, uh, my son Hugo. So now I'm their half hour lessons and it's almost half an hour away from home. So I literally sit out the front, have some tea and read my book or catch up on phone calls or whatever uh, for half an hour and then it's time to go home again. So, uh, I quite like this time. It's just this little peaceful half hour dot that I can I can relax. I brought my book today, so I am just going to sit here, drink my tea, and read my book. Um, I did so I had workshops this morning, uh, and then pretty much went straight out of that and went for a run. Um, I don't know if you saw the footage. I dropped it in uh, before. Uh, there was another cow or steer, I, I didn't look that closely, probably steer, on the side of the road. Same colours as my good old friend Dennis. Pretty sure it's not Dennis. Pretty sure the real Dennis left us a little while ago because uh, he'd be a few years old now. Um, but it was, yeah, a flashback. Reminded me of the good old times when I started running and I would see Dennis always out of his paddock, always on the side of the road. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's probably still uh, some story highlights in my Instagram uh, of Dennis back in the day if you want to go go have a look. Uh, anywho, that's probably it for today. Like from here, we will go home and then it's chill. We will we'll have dinner. We'll, we'll hang out with Hugo for a bit. We might watch some telly, uh, read my book, get an early night. Uh, tomorrow I am kind of excited. It is just desk time, not a single meeting in sight. It's pretty cool actually. Uh, cause the last few weeks have been, have been manic. So I can catch up on so much stuff. People are chasing me for a lot of things at the moment. Um, so I'm just hoping to madly tick things off the list tomorrow, which will mean Friday, uh, I can even just 
spend some time on some creative pursuits, uh, you know, of my own things, things that I like to do, like make videos like this for you and content for you and just, you know, sharing the creative process. And I, I like to feel like, uh, I've learned stuff along the way that if I can share it, you know, some stuff I had to learn the hard way. Maybe if I share it, I can, I can create a shortcut for someone else, um, and, and help other people to live their best, most creatively expressed lives. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's part of what motivates me every day to get out there and do what I do. Good morning. It is a uh, bright and early Thursday morning. It's my coffee sitting there on the post. Uh, I have been up, had some breakfast, did my five minute journal. Still loving it. Day three. Uh, now I am out with this little guy. Where are you, buddy? Uh, just going for a little little early morning walk, just getting some fresh air and a nice start to the day. I have a day at my desk today, which is lovely. Uh, and I think my husband Ben will be out on the tractor or the mower or something. So I will even have uh, the house to myself, which never happens. So that's not that I do anything different. It's just a novelty because <laughs> it never happens. Uh, so, yeah, good vibes this morning. Looking forward to the day ahead. Hey, hey, it is Thursday lunchtime. It's been a day at the desk. Um, probably hear Ben outside on the mower. Uh, but I am due for a break, so I am actually going to take a little break. I have just made myself, I can show you, some avocado on toast and a smoothie. And I've just started preheating the oven. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to make uh, some homemade muesli bars, which is putting a bunch of nuts and whatever else they have in the cupboard. Um, yeah, before I get stuck in for an afternoon session. Okay, so final update from me this week. It is Friday, nearly lunchtime. Uh, 
I got up early, um, walked the dog, enjoyed some time outside, got the boy to school, uh, ticked off the most important things on the list, um, about to have some lunch. Nothing really exciting to show you. It was just kind of a lot of uh, sitting at the screen. Um, but that's a necessary part of, of things is, you know, to, to do the fun, creative stuff. Sometimes you have to just sit there and do the other admin -y stuff too. So I tend to try and batch process it where I can. Um, and that's the kind of thing that's good to do on a Friday when you maybe don't have, you know, that much creativity left. You can just kind of sit down and punch through that like processy kind of stuff. So a bit of that for me this morning. Um, and I'm actually going to try to log off a little bit early this Savo. I'm not feeling the best today, so I'm going to try and take care of myself and uh, take an early mark and just chill out. That feels like uh, what the doctor ordered. But I hope you've enjoyed following me around this week, just kind of giving you a glimpse into the life of a chief doodler and, uh, you know, what, what my... I, I, I want to. I went to say a standard week, but the thing is, uh, I don't really have a standard week because every week is different depending on the project, the client, whether it's face to face, whether I'm dialing into things, whether it's slow illustration, whether it's videos. I have so much variety, which is part of what I love. So n no two weeks are exactly the same. So this was just a week in the life of a cheap doodler. But I hope you enjoyed coming along for a little adventure. Um, if you did, I would love it if you could leave me a comment below. Tell me what you liked, what you'd like to see more of. Uh, put a like on the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. All of these actions let YouTube know that they should show more people my content, uh, which I would greatly appreciate. Uh, so once again, thank you and I will see you next time. Oh,